this is Deepika Naga here and today I am going to explain one topic from class 12th that is matrices. This is chapter number 3 of your maths book and today I am going to explain introduction of matrices. Okay, so first of all what is matrix? Matrix is a singular form of matrices. In mathematics a matrix is a rectangular array of number symbols or expression are arranged in row and columns so first of all I'm going to write here its definition you should learn this in mathematics a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers, symbols or expressions are arranged in rows and columns for example array is denoted by this sign okay it is just like a square brackets for example 1 9 13 we choose any number for example 6 so here these are rows this is row 1 and row 2 these are columns column first column second and column third and these are the element of a matrix and a matrix is denoted by uh, any capital letter here I used A and 2 by 3 this is the dimension of matrix here 2 shows the number of rows and 3 shows the number of columns and 2 by 3 2 into 3 equals to 6 so total number of elements a matrix has this matrix has is 6 okay now <coughs> types of matrix first is column matrix A matrix is said to be column matrix if it has only one column. A matrix is said to be column matrix if it has only one column for example three seven minus nine so this is three is the number of row and one is the number of column similarly second type of matrix is row matrix A matrix is said to be row matrix if it has only one row an example is 7 minus 2 and 14 this is the dimension now next type of matrix is square matrix
and the definition is a matrix in which the number of rows and number of columns are equal is said to be square matrix a matrix in which number of rows is equal to number of columns is said to be square matrix that is m equals to n or we can say that n is the order of matrix okay and example is you can choose any numbers and the number of row and number of column should be same 3 4 minus 5 9 14 7 root 3 5 11 so this is a matrix of order 3 here number of row and number of columns are equal number of rows are 1 2 3 and number of columns are also 1 2 and 3 or we can say that the order of matrix here order of matrix is three okay so now next type of matrix is diagonal matrix now what is diagonal matrix a square matrix is said to be diagonal matrix if all its non diagonal elements are zero first of all a square matrix means it should be a square matrix first write the definition a square matrix is said to be a diagonal matrix if all its non diagonal elements are zero and uh, example is example fourteen zero 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 nineteen zero 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 twenty seven now see this is a square matrix number of row and number of uh, columns are equal and these are the elements of diagonal and they are non-zero and rest elements are zero. Okay so this is a diagonal matrix. Next type of matrix is scalar matrix. This is fifth type. Scalar matrix now what is a scalar matrix a diagonal matrix is said to be scalar matrix if its diagonal elements are equal definition is so simple a diagonal matrix diagonal matrix means matrix should be a square matrix and only the elements of diagonals are non-zero and rest elements should be zero so it is a diagonal matrix and the scalar matrix is a diagonal matrix 
is said to be scalar matrix if its diagonal elements are equal example root 3 root 3 and root 3 this is diagonal elements and rest elements should be zeros so this is a scalar matrix a diagonal matrix first of all this is a square matrix and diagonal matrix where diagonal is non-zero and rest elements are zero okay so a diagonal matrix is said to be scalar matrix if diagonal elements are equal and the diagonal elements are equal next is identity matrix A square matrix in which element in the diagonal all are 1 and rest are all 0 uh, is called an identity matrix. <coughs> A square matrix in which element in the diagonal are all 1 and rest are all 0 is called an identity matrix example 1 1 1 and rest elements are 0 now see the definition a square matrix means number of row and number of columns are equal in which element in diagonal are all 1 diagonal elements are 1 and rest are all 0 rest all are zeros so this is called an identity matrix and next type of matrix is zero matrix it is clear by its name itself a matrix is said to be zero matrix or null matrix if all elements are zero very simple a matrix is said to be zero matrix or null matrix if all elements are zero okay for example zero 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 or zero 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 all elements are zero so these are the types of mat so the students in next video, I will explain you operation on matrices. Please like, share, subscribe and press bell icon for further notification. And if you have any doubts or query, then ask in comment section. Thank you.